What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, hitting you with some bombshell sportswear. Bombshell's new prints really caught my eye, so I had to grab a few and test them out. If you guys have been watching my channel, you would know that I tried them for the first time a couple months ago during my battle of the Instagram brand scrunch butts. I tried their famous thigh high sock legging. I think you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Picture right here. I liked them, but I realized that it didn't quite fit for my body type. I wanted to try out more of their activewear to see if it's all like that. What I mean is they kind of had a little more area to breathe around the glutes and the quads. Obviously designed for gals with the big bums, the large quads, my quadzillas out there. Something that I just really didn't fill out very much. But nevertheless, they have some really cute new designs. I wanted to test them out and just see, can I make bombshell work for me? So I hope you guys are ready for some insane prints. As you can tell, I haven't even opened the box yet. I wanna start saving the unboxing for the actual video so you can experience the thrill of the unboxing and see my authentic first impressions. Okay, this is gonna pop out at you, ain't it? Okay. What are we looking at? Be your own motivation, amen. All right, bombshell, let's see what you got. Mm -hmm, I'm gonna save these zip logs for later. <laughs> Okay, so I got the Statement Sports Bra in the color Seafoam. I had to try it out because there's so much going on with this freaking sports bra. Oh, this band flaps right down and now you can see why I got it. You have a transparent band. What the heck? <laughs> and of course you got sexy bra straps on the back, which you know I love that. The Seafoam's really pretty. It's actually a Marl breakup with black in it. What obviously stood out was this band. I don't know if it's gonna be the most comfortable though because it kind of feels a little bit scratchy. <laughs> so I'm hoping when I try it on, it's not gonna totally bug me. But talk to me about this backing right here. How does this not capture your attention? It looks like a waterfall down your back, especially with this color. But hold up just one second. If you look closely, they must have edited this out on their website because right where the seam ends looks like a hard nipple. Do you see that? Oh crap. So I'll definitely pop up a picture of what it looks like on the website. It looks nothing like that. It looks nice and smooth. These look like rock nips. So what the heck? Bombshell, what the heck? Okay, so I had to try one of these. This is actually something I'm most excited for with the tie-dye seamless. Oh my God. Do you see how tiny these look? This might just have changed my whole perspective on the like big gluten quad thing. This looks like it would fit a little American Girl doll. What the? I'm praying that you're stretchy. You seem pretty stretchy, but are you that stretchy? The band's a little bit tinier than expected. You have a huge heavy rib going throughout all of this. The tie-dye is cool though. It's a high contrast tie-dye. Like this is gonna spin some heads around at you. I just don't know. I don't even see any glute contour whatsoever. I see a V seam, but I don't see anything under the glutes or dividing the cheeks. If you mean to tell me that my glutes, my bum cheeks gonna fit this two inch right here, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So I also got the Snake Seamless. So this is their sports bra. Okay, there's no padding at all whatsoever in it. This also looks really tiny. Again, everything's in a size small that you see today. This is my true size, usually. Wow, the straps look really tiny and thin to the point where this just doesn't look like it's gonna hold up over time. This looks like it just is on the verge of just snapping right off. <laughs> Tiniest straps I've ever seen in my whole wide life. Other than that, it is really cute. I like the yellow and gray. The snake print is pretty. The breakup of the solid color is really nice. I just don't see that this has a ton of support, not a huge deal for me, but I just don't know how durable over time this is gonna be. It looks really kind of flimsy, so we'll see. I also have the matching snake print leggings. These are seamless. Again, looking a little bit on the tiny side, but whereas that tie-dye did not have a glute separation, this one does, so I feel like automatically this is gonna be a little more flattering on me. We have another seamless legging. These are the Pop Seamless in the Hawaiian punch color. Ooh, this is beautiful. This is so pretty. Again, this is kind of like the tie-dye. Actually, it's exactly the same now that I'm looking at it. The whole thing is identical. It's just a different color and a subtler print. But you still have the heavy rib. You still have the zero glute separation in the back here. I'm actually super thrilled to try these on. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really curious to see how a human ass is gonna fit into these tiny, little leggings. How on earth is that gonna work? This is gonna be magic. 
So to match the seafoam bra, I actually did grab a pair of their statement seafoam green leggings. So you have the matching band, that transparent band, but not only through the band, but along the side a little bit too. So a little hip action, a little sexiness on the side maybe. This is the type of legging where you can literally see the difference between this and the pop seamless rib. This has more curvature to it. You can see where the thigh area is expanded where this is meant for bigger thighs. They curve outward and you can't deny that. Not quite sure if my quads are gonna fill this out, but there's only one way to see. This is not seamless either. I'm seeing a bunch of seams running around through the glutes, which is good. I love my glute separation. But um, yeah, so it's definitely different than their seamless, that's for sure. I also wanna make it very clear that this band, these matching bands have a clear plastic filler in between, so it's not just bare skin. Okay, I got the tie-dye seamless bra to match the leggings, the crystal green, wow. So it's really a neon, that's for sure. This is giving me some toxic, radioactive, crazy vibes. There's no bra padding in this one either, so I guess it's not a huge deal since you do have the heavy rib to kind of block your nips in case they want to get a little feisty on you. But I would more or less just wear this as a crop to go over your sports bra, not just by itself. This is not adjustable and you do have the metal clasps in the front. So again, little things like that, it matches the bombshell little emblem on the back. So the silver accents are really beautiful. Okay, so to match the Hawaiian punch seamless leggings, I have the snap seamless bra. I also wanna make mention their sizing's a little bit weird. Some pieces are just a size small. You order it as your size. Some of these pieces are actually extra small slash small. So it's like a two size kind of fit. Kind of confusing. Don't know if I love that, but I guess we'll find out when I actually try these pieces on. I'll be sure to pop up each size with each piece as I try it on, so don't worry, girl. So, snap seamless, okay. I see why you're called snap now, because you literally have snap buttons in the front. So you have two little baby snap buttons. I tend to like that look. I think it's really, really cute. It definitely adds a little something, some separation to what might have been a bulky sports bra. I definitely feel like this sports bra, out of all of them so far, are gonna be the most supportive and possibly the most flattering. This actually feels a little bit durable, like it can hang for a while. <laughs> so let's go try these baddies on, girl. I am very curious right about now. Okay, by some form of a miracle, these leggings actually fit. I don't know how, it's magic. It's literal magic. So not only did these leggings go on like a breeze, but they're almost acting like a scrunch bum on me right now. I don't know how that's possible, but not only was there enough room for my glutes, but the material's naturally making its way up into my cheeks and um, I don't know about you, but like, that's a godsend to me. I'm obsessed with this print and color. I can definitely see once I put it on that I'm seeing a lot more pink than I did red initially. Like it looked mostly red, now it looks mostly pink. I think it's because I'm spreading out the material a little bit. The length on me is stunningly perfect. You have just that moderate compression. The seamless just has me, you know, feeling some type of way. The only downfall is they're not 100% squat proof. I would give it maybe a 75 to 80% squat proof. Like when I'm in a low squat, I see a whole lot of something underneath there. I would still wear it to the gym. <laughs> at a low lit gym maybe, but mostly just wearing this for upper body day would be really good. They're really breathable, and for the most part, this whole set just feels really lightweight. No dreaded camel toe. And I don't even need to explain the insane stretch in this set clearly. The V seam absolutely works for these leggings. They're just making my glutes look bigger than they actually are. They're accentuating them, make them look a little higher. Like I work upper booty area. This is 100% true to size as well. I wouldn't size down, I wouldn't size up. This is fitting me like a gem, I love it. The thick straps are really nice, there's no dig in whatsoever. I think the snap buttons are adorable. Let me snap them up. Now that I snap them shut, they feel like they're pulling a little bit right here, so let's see. Uh, uh, doing that row machine. They're staying intact, but I still feel a little bit of that tugging, like it wants to come apart. So I think I'm just gonna keep them apart, all right? Absolutely nice, moderate support here. And the full backing, this is just an overall semi-supportive bra. For me, my small toddies, this is working. Okay, 
<laughs> so overall, this is a flattering fit. I do prefer the Hawaiian punch seamless leggings. Whereas there's more curvature on those leggings, this one's just straight across. So not as flattering, but I still think it does the job. The seam, believe it or not, this actually has a seam breakup in the middle. But overall, I would say this is an okay set, but you still have a really good length. There's no camel toe in these either. Like overall, a really nice seamless set. The plus side is this seems 100% squat proof, believe it or not. I'm shook at the fact that the lightest color that I have in this whole haul seems to be fully squat proof on me. I don't feel restricted in any way when I move. What I'm loving about their leggings so far though is the texture. They're not buttery soft leggings by any means. They don't feel like they're gonna slip down that kind of feeling. This seems for the most part pretty durable, but I have to say, this is very thin. Like it is a very, very, very thin material, but yet it's not where I'm gonna poke a hole through it. So it's doing the job and it's keeping me super lightweight when I work out. So props to them. So whereas the leggings are moderate compression, this is totally just a light, light, light support. Like there's barely anything to it. I would more or less wear this for yoga, not so much going to the gym, running or any cardio. Even though the straps are really, really thin, when wearing them, they kind of join together. So it kind of thickens it up a little bit. And even without the bra pads, it's still smooth. Makes the girls look decent. Okay. So because I have such an extremely small torso, these bands kind of met up and they're having a party now. I don't know what to do with this. I do think the bands are really sexy. How can they not be? <laughs> But um, I feel like I almost popped a hole in the middle of one of these bands when pulling them up. So these bands are definitely on the delicate side. Overall, the material's a lot thicker than the seamless. So I'm feeling like these might capture and just keep and hold in a lot of heat when working out if I chose to work out in these. The seam running down the leg in the front is a little bit annoying though. As soon as I put them on, like I could feel them underneath. It's one of those seams that are just gonna be scratching up a storm when I try to move around in them. Overall, the rest of the material is really comfortable and very stretchy, but I wouldn't really want to wear these to the gym. <laughs> I don't think that after an hour I'm gonna be comfortable. I still think it looks pretty decent on the glutes. Still prefer the seamless though. I think they did the best job of them all. Even though these are not seamless leggings, there's no front seam, so. I'm very happy about that. There's no camel toe whatsoever. It's 100% squat proof on me. And because of the thickness of the material, I would really hope so. I think this sports bra would actually look cute without the leggings. <laughs> As more or less like a statement crop top kind of bra, wear out to a club. I don't know. I don't know why my mind goes like that, but it does. It's pretty decent cleavage wise, moderate support throughout. I do think that the back of the sports bra is what is just selling me completely. I don't think it could get sexier than this. There's a lot going on back there, which is why I think just the bra by itself is where it's at. And just like I thought these pointy nipple seams, they gotta go, they gotta go completely. They're not doing anything good for me. I just know that I'm going to regret it if I wear it out in public. I don't feel like the bands are too uncomfortable, but it's still the type of material where after a long period of time, I might just be like, okay, you can just get off my body now. Oh my God. So I feel like I'm glowing in this whole set. Am I glowing? Is this glow in the dark? So these leggings are pretty much like the Hawaiian punch, the first one you saw, the ribbed, the seamless, the hug in the booty, the scrunch butt without actually being a scrunch butt, that helpful V seam. I'm gonna go ahead and say, these leggings are my favorite type of leggings out of every single one you've seen today. I'm surprised at just how squat proof these are with how light they are. We're looking at like almost 90% squat proof I would give it. Bay says he doesn't see anything at all when I squat, so he's saying it's 100% squat proof. Just to be safe, I'm gonna say it's in the 90s. Yeah, a light to moderate compression with all of these sets. This is no different. I just think that the big kicker with this is this radioactive vibe we got going on. If I'm being super picky though, the one thing I'm not really loving right now is the fact that where my glutes are right here, the pattern just kind of fades out and doesn't necessarily match, say, the sports bra where not a whole lot is stretching it out. So the color looks a little more faded. Keep that in mind if you have really big glutes. You're gonna probably fade the pattern out a bit. 
That's the thing with patterns. That's what makes them so tricky when it comes to active wear. It stretches out and nine out of 10 times, the whole print will just stretch out with it and fade it right out. But talk to me about the sports bra. It's actually really cute. Again, there's no padding whatsoever. It's a little bit bare. It's just a crop top. There's no support. Like just going like this, it's kind of like, ugh. All right guys, so that was the full haul review. I have to say, my first impression a few months back is totally different than my impression right now with this new active wear they have. Me personally, I'm loving their seamless sets. My favorite one out of every single thing you saw today was this Hawaiian punch set. I love it, hands down, look the best on the peach. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. Definitely stay posted. I have the very, very much requested Buff Bunny new bray coming up soon. Along with, of course, the new Whitney Gymshark collection and the Balance Athletica Nutra collection as well. So just waiting on some packages and I'll be delivering you guys up the goods. So definitely hit that subscribe button. Follow me on my social media so you don't miss a thing. I love you all so much and I'll catch you in my next video.